Have you ever heard of someone that's 25 years old working two jobs and was able to hit over $50,000 on the side with their e-commerce store? Nah, me either. But in today's video, I'm gonna be interviewing one of our members from the one-on-one -on -one e ecom skills program that was able to hit over $50,000 on the side with their store in the matter of just 45 days. So if you wanna know the exact profit that he was able to accomplish in that time frame, be sure to watch the whole video to find out. And if you want to join any part of our community, we have the free Free community in the link in description below and if you would like to apply for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship that'll be in the description as well and without further ado let's get right into it what is going down bro i appreciate you hopping on this call with me this lovely sunday man how's everything going yo yo everything's been going good bro can't complain yeah. been good. guy's been good man so you said huh how about your stuff how, how are things going everything's been going good bro this week last week it was my birthday so i was outside with that and now we back at it man for real, for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gotta keep the foot on the gas. Yeah, nah. And keep, like, students like you, bro. Like, you going crazy. 50 ball, like, 50K on the... How long has it been for you to hit that 50K? Uh, look at, like, a month and a half, bro. Oh, my God. So, less than two months, $50,000, man. Like, that's absolutely crazy. And I went to hop on this call to really showcase that, but also, like, really showcase, like, who you are, too, as well, and, like, how you was able to accomplish this, because I believe anyone can do it. Just gotta see themselves in it too as well so i do got a list of questions for you but man i gotta start let's say a big congrats to that man like you've been at it for a minute and you've known about like, e-commerce for a second too as well so to see the results of it and go crazy yeah that's fire facts definitely gotta get your flowers though bro none of this would be possible like without you like kind of walking me through the process and guiding me through like what to scale not to scale and like different strategies and such as well so definitely gotta give you your flower i nah, appreciate that uh well man let's get right into it bro so the first thing i want to ask you is like what were you doing before e-commerce like was you well yeah what was you doing before e-commerce bro uh yeah so i was just working a normal nine to five um you know and then also doing some coaching as well for e-com helping beginners like uh build their shopify store scale it with facebook ads all that good stuff um just because i did have like that knowledge down um and so yeah i was pretty much working like two jobs <laughs> to be honest with you yeah. um and so yeah I, that's pretty much what was going down at the time yeah. nah it's huge bro that's workaholic bro two is not easy i ain't gonna lie to you so yeah. that's that dog for real for real well honestly motivated you to get into e-commerce because that's how we met like we was coaching together before this like a while ago but what motivated you to get into like e-com honestly um the flexibility man um i feel like the internet has opened the door to so many possibilities um and so a lot of people like back in the day you had to do like a brick and mortar business you had to do this you got to be at this office at this time to do this or that but with e-com nah fam as long as you got wi-fi and those ads are running or whatever's running like you can you can print so that's what i love the most the flexibility of it. I never really asked you this, bro. How'd you hear about e-commerce? Like, um, honestly, same way as everybody else does. Uh, like just going through the internet, like how to make money online. <laughs> I do it. I was like, dang, I gotta make some crack, bro. I'm not about to spend the next like 20, 30 years of my life doing like like this, this, like this is not it. Um, yeah. so um, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Just naturally came across some people on social media. I was like, hmm, happened to be you know in the same area, whatever, and saw a place where I could provide value and just kind of put myself out there, and then yeah, it just kind of all came to fruition big facts and outside of e-commerce too like you was doing like stocks and options and i know you still do to this day what do you say is the biggest difference between those two and what would you tell someone to start off with if they were to like damn i'm trying to make some money online like what would you tell yeah. them um so yeah this is gonna be a little bit of a long one to answer but yeah. like back in college like i had more free time and flexibility to like look at stock charts all day like you know do this and that and like make something happen and that was fun like that was great and i think it's definitely a way that you can make money but the best way to go about it is to have something that's like funding that per se so like the if i could change anything i would get something some motion with like e-com for sure and then pour those profits into like my investments and investing strategies and such like that because i mean you could just uh make more and do more because you're, you're playing with bigger numbers instead of like pennies and then like you're stressed out if you if you like mess up or like if it goes down for a certain time so i think just having more cash flow and more profits to play with definitely makes the game a lot better yeah makes it easier and cash flow really just funds the business and then using that money from e-com and just keep funding it's like a bro you be become unstoppable honestly exactly it's like a big snowball that keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger big facts okay. I, I still tap in with you with that all the way fully now one of the biggest things that having like two jobs is is like time constraint so one thing that impressed me the most is like the fact that you was able to do these numbers with the amount of time that you have how do you believe you made that happen honestly just it's like there's so much information that people get like analysis paralysis or they just get bad information overall and so i think just having the right information 
was able to help me streamline that process and also just having some guidance in my corner, you know, with yourself, someone who's been here, who's ran up numbers before, who's like knows the process, knows the key things to look for. So I, I was able to avoid like a bunch of mistakes and then also just kind of shorten my time delay by kind of leveraging your experience in a way, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that's super fire. Because like, bro, time is everything. And a lot of people try to like, do things on their own at times, and which is, is super possible, but you know, that's going to take even more time to get there. So having that help and that could be or anything that, that makes it super possible. What was the biggest challenges in that though? Because I know that's not easy, bro. I know that's not easy. So like, what would you say is the hardest thing about that? Juggling two jobs. Honestly, just like stay insane. If I'm being honest with you, like like obviously you're putting in like 70 hours plus a week. And so like, you got to find those like outlets to kind of keep you going, you know? And honestly, e-commerce is one of those things, you know, seeing those numbers go up, things like that. It was all very exciting to me. It didn't feel like work, you know, I'm having fun and I'm you know, like, I'm making money too. So like, it's, it was um, it was a good way for me to kind of step away from, you know, just, oh, I have to do like these like tasks or whatever, where you do have tasks and things you have to do with the business, but it's for you. Like it's not, you know, it's not for a corporation or anything like that. So it feels different and it hits differently. Already knowing what really motivated you to keep going, honestly. Um, just honestly, my I feel like I'm super, super ambitious. Like just the things that I want in life, I'm realizing I need more. Like what I currently have is not enough per se. While I'm grateful for that, I just realized that there's there's more to be achieved. And yeah, I think that's kind of what keeps me going, just kind of the outlook I have on life and the things I want to set my family up for and things like that in the future. And that's one reason why we click, bro. As soon as like we had met, I remember the first time we met and it was like, we was on the same type of goal, same type of ambition. And you don't see too many people like us at our age that are on that type of time. So whenever we cross paths, I think that was like a super blessing. And now like to see the results of just everything, like just not even just e-commerce, just as that friendship and just keeping with each other accountable as a whole has been game changer. And I feel like that's what helps us grow each and every month and year, honestly. A hundred percent, bro. And like, I'm not gonna lie, like doing this whole sprint of like building what I've been building, like there's been people just ask me like, why are you doing this? Like, why are you doing that? Like, this is crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It's crazy. Like, don't get me wrong. But I think it was necessary. Like, you know what I mean? If I want different, I got to do different than the typical person. And so that's just the mindset and things that, you know, we embody and not to like toot our own horn or anything, but the results have shown themselves, you know, when we put in the work, you know, and we hold each other accountable and we actually go for what we want, full, full fledged, like no holding back. Like we can make them possible, possible and like quite literally change our life and the people around us lives as well. So I definitely value in like going through a season like that though. 100%. Because our blessings bless other people too as well. So like that motivates to keep going too as well. Man, like, yeah, that's super fire, man. Now, one thing I do want to ask you is, you know, there's so much information out there on like YouTube and there's so many other people that I, I talk about e-commerce drushing as a whole. What made you choose like working with me than like doing it alone or going with someone else? Honestly, because we kind of already had, I guess, rapport, I guess you could say, you know, we've, we've honestly like, we, we've tried certain things in the past, like different business models and things like that. And so, you know, you were just always a guy that I trusted, you know, we, we talk daily, honestly, as well. Like, you know, we'll talk about different business strategies and things. And so, hey, like who better to go to than Keandre? And also, I'm not going to lie. There was a few months ago, I forget exactly when you scaled a student to like 350,000 and like, I don't know, like eight weeks or something crazy. And I was like, bro, yeah, all right, bro, bro's on something different. Like I need to tap into that. <laughs> and no, uh, that was just, that's one of my students were absolutely crazy and like 400k in 90 days. And that was game changing for uh, myself and also her too as well. Like show that not just I can produce numbers like that, like so can other people that really just run the play and there's no like nothing new under the sun. And as long as you stick with the strategies, it'll work 100%, especially nowadays. It's a whole different evolution of e-commerce and just drop shipping. So just really adapting and utilizing those, those things. Um, now with that, what do you think was, what helped you the most to achieve like 50K in revenue with your store in that short period of time frame? Honestly, just going back to like the right information. Um, There's a lot of love and stuff like that. A lot of different, you know, Facebook strategies and all this stuff. But I think just having like solid, solid information that you know has a proven track record, like, and just lean it into that rather than like trying a whole bunch of things. Like just, just use what works, right? We don't need to reinvent the wheel or anything like that. This is already working. Why don't you take that and, you know, use that and just try to enhance it or optimize it for your situation. Nah, for real. And my next question, this is going to be super fire. Because I remember that breakthrough moment when I knew like, oh yeah, it's up now. And it's like, it's consistent, it's going crazy. But are you able to share that breakthrough or like that specific moment when you realize this is really working for you? Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. It was like a Saturday. I was honestly in the gym with one of our other e-com guys. And I'm not going to lie, like, so like he was doing like 250 like a month. And I was like, damn, I need that. Like, I really want that. You know what I mean? And yeah. so I was with him and that was like two weeks, two, three weeks prior, maybe a month or so prior. And then from sitting there and I had like a $50, like, I don't know 
know, or a hundred dollar like campaign setup, and dude, my phone was just going off. Like it was going nuts. I was like, bro, this has never happened before. Like yeah. this is something is happening. Like there's a shift. Like this is different. This is not the, the typical like what usually happened. And then I hopped on a call with you. We saw that we were printing like a six rolls, and you're like, bro, you need to scale this like, yeah. now. And so like, yeah, then that's when I doubled it and started doing like one k, two k, three k days. And yeah, it was just like honestly one of the best feelings in the world. Yeah, that, that's a uh, the high of like um those sales are it's just it's hard to explain, bro. Like, you got to feel it to know exactly like i feel like 1k 2k 3k days like people make that in a month and you're making that within a day people make that in a week or make that in two weeks you're making that in a day so it's like it, it becomes so surreal and you're like what is money <laughs> bro it, it, it's really like yeah bro it's a paradigm shift it's like this is fake bro it's like a video game like this cannot yeah. go you know what i mean and yeah man it's, it's just a beautiful thing to be honest with you though for sure man now enough about this talking bro of course we could be talking all day we could be talking about theory but i would just share your screen to show the proof behind the pudding and we can go in depth and explain that from there of course of course um so today is actually may 19th and so this is through may 19th i'm still running this current like store and product and everything um, you can see my screen right yes indeed all right so we're going to start with shopify and then we're going to refresh just to show us no cap Get a little refresh going all righty cool, wow. cool as you can see yes, my, may 19th i was able to get fifty two thousand dollars generated yes uh, indeed decent conversion rate too 2.7 i'll take that yeah, um, yeah 1200 orders man one of the biggest things about like conversion rate it's the, like the standard is usually like a two row as or something in that nature what helped you accomplish this type of conversion rate in that time frame honestly once again just having that consulting feedback to see because at first i had like just some basic outline and then i consulted with you and i was like what do you think about this like how can i enhance this or optimize this and you know you said add some faqs do this do that and honestly that's when the, the conversion rate was just printing i remember at one point in time it was like a five for like multiple weeks nah super fire i already go to like let's go to april let's break this down and explain like exactly what was going in i even go from april to like april 15th that first half because that's when it really started like yeah low key the whole month of april but yeah we could do the 15th in yeah, uh -huh. no matter of that time frame 3k in like 15 15 days and the raw is doing pretty well too as well okay okay i think this is when we started seeing like some real life traction because you see like it was like a couple here and there like 300 it looks like like a five hundred dollar a day um, i want to took this too because also this like dead period remember that the ad account one of my ad accounts got restricted now for whatever reason that was a little bit of the reason for that too yeah how did you feel there's always going to be blocks like roadblocks when it comes down to it like how are you able to surpass and keep pushing through that time frame people would have been like man i'm done honestly it's just i always tell myself this is kind of a little cringe but i just say like this is where most people quit <laughs> and so i obviously don't want to be most people so that's like fires me up and keeps me going and then also i feel like if you overcome certain obstacles and stuff there's going to be blessings and prosperity on the other side of those obstacles just to keep going bro like there's always going to be stuff that's unfortunate that happens but it happens when you quit so I'm through and there got to be a big why behind it now you to go to the 15th to the end of that month the 15th to the 31st yes sir that's 30 oh 30 my fault <laughs> All right, let's see. So it went from 3K, bro, to then the next 15 days, $25,000, bro. What type, what, what happened in that time frame, bro? In the span of 15 days, like 3K, the next 15 days, $25,000. Like what shifted? Honestly, I was probably being a little soft with my budgets and stuff. And you're like, bro, like you need to scale this. Like you're, you kept telling me like, bro, you need to up this, like, like double, triple this budget. And a little timid at first, but like once I started doing that, that's when like this started happening. Um, yes. Like big, big number, big day like you know you see some close to 2k days and such like that but yeah it was honestly just scaling the budgets and like going just kind of like just trying to squeeze everything you can out of it yes sir and converter is still looking mighty fine and now are you able to go ahead and go back to like the because from here moving forward it was just like assistance let's go like april 1st to like uh now april 19th or may 19th is what it is of course starting march 29th they seen the 52 but let's see in that less than 60 days 50k right on the money yes indeed and just ultimately scale from there bro that's super fire and to see like the journey because one thing that a lot of people don't know like in the beginning is like you're testing out like audiences see what works see what doesn't works and then once you find what works you just scale from there and you've seen that like that's how you went from in two weeks 3k the next two weeks 25k that's crazy definitely yeah yeah and it's really i think a lot of people overcomplicate it like really not it's not it's not hard at all <laughs> that's um, indeed. i think we like put like far-fetched or anything but like yeah it's pretty yeah it's, it's not hard 
is not a fire. Now, these numbers are cool and all, but I know you got uh, Triple Well pulled up too as well to show the profit. Are you able to pull the profit up too as well so we can check that out? Yes, sir. Let me just do a refresh really quick. Oh, yeah. Do the refresh, Anna? A lot of people will just be trying uh, to and stuff man it's crazy out here all right this is so fire and the row ass just from like what it was thrown before is doing good so basically doubling your money yeah yeah exactly as we see what up is coming maybe i shouldn't have done a refresh <laughs> now you good you got time you can uh well there you go there we go smooth criminal so there it is so in that time frame of course this is like that whole march 29th to now but in that like less than two months 13k profit just like that got some revenue and then profit and they're seeing like the cost of goods twelve thousand dollars now twenty four thousand dollars on ads like did you have like 24k saved up to put in the ads bro nah not at all <laughs> but um honestly man comes from uh like obviously like leveraging credit cards but like reinvesting your profits to keep the business going like let the business pay for itself that did not come like out of my pocket at all yeah realistically like how much did you really start off like with the product um honestly like a few hundred dollars to be honest with you so like probably say 500 dollars max yeah. but yeah uh, like probably 500 to a thousand to if i'm be honest because then like i was testing 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 and then once you once i found those winning interests and it was just like up from there and the beautiful thing is you got two jobs so like you're able to fund it like keep funding it once it started working so it wasn't like you yeah you just had the the ability to keep funding what was working and that's how you was able to get this super fire 14k probably by the end of today profit wise so super fire big congrats you can stop sharing your screen now now that we see the proof there's no cap in the wrap explained it and everything so now that's super fire like now if someone were to want to get started with like e-com or anything or to even work with our, our program what would that be the advice you would give someone just come in with the open mindset you know uh, i feel like a lot of times we come in with walls set up and things like that from past experiences and maybe other programs or things like that but like just come in like as like a, like a kid you know and just take it like that and like really soak in the knowledge and apply the strategy because it worked clearly and then yeah just keep a positive mindset you know like there's no room for pessimism if you have just a little bit of optimism you can make it really really far and yeah just keep that positive energy and just follow what the coaches are telling you and you'll win and i didn't ask you how much time was you putting into this like per day or just say per week since like i said you have two jobs like i don't think people understand two like two jobs like that's fire that's the hustle mentality that's a lot of time as well so like the fact that you're able to do this and in that time frame is impressive but how much time was you putting into this honestly not much man. i probably could have put more uh, to be honest with you but honestly probably like five to ten hours a week if that <laughs> be honest word that's, yeah. that, that's super fire one thing i always like to say is like take like one action step per day like that can be just adding your payment information to your shopify store like just little things like that that's like a five minute task but you do one thing per day you'll see how how far you get in the matter of that week time frame but now on the flip side of people that would do well you're giving them advice who would you say like is going to flop like come in and be like oh this doesn't work who are those like type of people man and anyone with like a negative mindset or if you're just going to test one product and quit don't, mm. don't even start bro like, mm. don't even start like this is a game full of sharks like people that really like kind of make this happen and they're testing like five products that wants this and that so you you're gonna have to test like that there's no way around it everybody has to go through that but with that you're getting experience knowledge so much feedback as well from like your different tests that lets you know oh this is a good ad i should test this or that whatever the case may be so like yeah i would just say like if you have a negative mindset and if like you don't if you plan to just test one product and think your first product is gonna just crack i mean it can for sure but i think you should just have a mindset of hey i might have to just test some things out before you know we see some, some real good traction how long did it take you to get uh how many products did it test for you to get those results honestly that was like my 10th product that time frame my 10th product in probably say like six months or so okay six months so within the last let's say the last like 60 days whenever like we start or let's say in the last 90 days how many prices did you test in that time frame before you got to that one that hit um i say that's when i was testing the most probably like six or seven uh um, yeah yeah what kept you going bro because like people will get discouraged after the fourth fifth sixth product doesn't hit like were you seeing like break even or were you cutting quick like how were you able to keep that momentum going and still push forward to like now nah, this is the one this is the one so i was getting small profits like and crazy honestly probably like a couple hundred dollars but honestly, one of our mutual friends he was doing like man like two hundred fifty thousand plus a month yeah. and like we were like working out with him and stuff like that and it's like seeing his results and seeing how his store was doing it was like man this works like i gotta keep going like i can't quit like it's clearly working you know what i mean so that was one thing that kept 
kept me grounded and like, I guess, optimistic about the process. Just having someone in our direct corner that it was working for, you know? We all got to get on a podcast, man. I swear, like, that's coming really soon now. We all going to get on a podcast, really talk about it. Because there's not too many people like us around our age really doing it and showing that it's possible because it's more than possible, especially now. How do you feel of the trajectory of e-com? Because people say that dropshipping is dead. Like, what's your take on that? Man, it's, it's clearly alive, man. And this little situation right here, like, even though this is, like, still, like, what I call baby numbers, per se, it's not even six figures yet or anything, it's still, like, life-changing. You know what I mean? Like, who can't use that extra 13, 14,000? Like, you know what I mean? It's like anyone saying, like, oh, the margins are small or, like, okay, like, you, could you use an extra 14K? Like, Back straight you know I mean? up. And so, yeah, and to your point, it's growing. Like, it's not shrinking. It's not going anywhere. Obviously, you got Amazon out there and stuff like that. And it's just going to keep growing. People are in a place where I feel like they want convenience and things. And so if a product can get delivered to the doorstep, they'll take that over having to go to the mall or this and that, you know? So yeah, that's my take. I definitely think it's growing. I don't think it's going anywhere. And I think it's just going to continue to grow. It's a trillion dollar industry. And I think it's just going to keep growing. I had a question for you to help out like the people watching too as well. Is that product branded or do you, is your store like general or is it like a more so like niche type of? So, yeah, this is all like a generic like testing store. So not even anything crazy. And I'm sure uh, knowing what I know now, I probably should have white labeled it a lot sooner and things like that and branded it. But hey, it's, it's okay. Part of the game. So no, yeah, it's, it's just a general store, uh, to be honest with you. And I went from the brand that joint and go absolutely crazy. White label, put the name on the product, go crazy. You know, we got a great supplier now too as well. So it's time to take these up to like 100K, 250K months. And then we'll come back again and go absolutely crazy. Now that you achieve these milestones, like what's your next goal? Like for real, like you hit 50K in less than two months. Like what's the next goal, bro? Honestly, I want to hit... Uh, uh, I wanted 250 in a month. Honestly, just seeing one of our mutual friends do it, and that's always been like the benchmark and like the overarching goal. Well, I know like there's levels, like obviously got to get 100 and then this and that. But yeah, I want to hit like a 2 250 month. Uh, that's like my big goal, but like next up to that, it's like 100k month. Facts. Nah, that's that's right around the corner, bro. Trust. And it's finna be summertime. Then we got Q4. You okay. finish this off with a seven figure. I swear. No, oh, yeah, Q4. I cannot wait, man. Like, yeah, best time of year to sell for sure. Now, for you personally, is the last few questions before we go ahead and depart. I know you're a busy man. For for like personal, like how does this like change your perspective on just business or just like your like personal growth as a whole? Honestly, it changes everything, bro. Because I, I think there even what I thought was possible is even my mind is stretched to where there's more that's possible, like 10x to what I was thinking. Because I did not expect to, you know, run up like 50k in like a month and a half. Like, you know, I'm, obviously it's not all profit or anything like that, but still, like that just opens your mind. Like, wow, what can I really do if I really like knowing what I know now and like some of the pitfalls and things that I may if I avoid those and do a few things differently like it can get really scary out here but well, not like scary but like you know what i mean like really like crazy so it kind of stretched my mind from an entrepreneur standpoint and like has me looking at bigger goals and things like that now and then also just seeing that there's there's really no limit to where you can take it it's just in your mind facts and it's all a belief system too as well like one thing i remember when it was like you said like a 300 dollars day for it i'm like bro to make this a 1k tomorrow I'm like bro this easy 1k tomorrow and i break that with multiple students too as well like bro, 1k or easy 1k they're easy 1k they're easy because that blows their mind when they yeah. start hitting the game it's actually it's easy it's just a belief behind it 100%. it is 100 and i think there's value in having someone in your corner that can reiterate that as well because honestly if you weren't like they're like pushing me a lot of times i probably probably would have done i probably wouldn't have done like a fraction of that like probably like 25 percent of that honestly but just having someone in your corner that's pushing you and that knows the game is also it's like super super valuable no no cap all right just the last question for you that's really what's one thing you wish and this is like oh my god this is a value bomb right here what's one thing you wish you knew before starting your journey with e-commerce hmm, that's a really good real. i'll probably say just it can happen quicker than you think <laughs> like i was no way like prepared like as mentally or anything like to have what happened happen but i don't think anyone is per se but like you think it's like so far-fetched like you think it's like oh like i gotta i gotta learn for years before i can do that man like but no it's like the right strategies and stuff like that can happen like next month like for real for real, yeah. for real. that's crazy michael said the same thing mike young on our podcast it was like man things can turn around super quick for the fact that you said the same thing like that really is facts like things you can have like like as you see 3k in two weeks the next two weeks 25k just like that like come on now that's why facts, facts yeah and there's no yeah there's no limit for real man like it's crazy sky's the limit facts and last one to close it off man if you could sum up in one sentence your experience working with us in ecom skills what would you, what would that be this has been life-changing <laughs> that is fire it's like that i literally just got to sell like <laughs> this yes is indeed it works like it works right now yes uh, sir yeah, it's quite literally life changing. And now to see like what I've learned so far and to take that and build even further, like it's just going to be further life changing. So I highly encourage anyone that's on the line.
mind thinking about it, make the make the move, man. It's worth it ten times over. And man, can't thank Keandre and his team enough. This is like it's crazy. I still can't believe it. That's uh, super fire, man. There's so much more to come. Finish that two fifty k month, one hundred k month. True, like hundred k weeks. Like man, it gets really, really like I said, scary in our lingo, but in that same way, scary as in good. So oh, yeah. now nah, I really appreciate you hopping on, giving those value bombs and showing the the proof in the pudding, showing the results. Like that speaks for itself and giving some game just from your personal experience bro i really appreciate it yes sir i appreciate you and your team man this is like i said life-changing and i can't thank you enough i'm excited to do see what we do in the future as well yes indeed man well i appreciate you man and we'll catch up soon yes sir all right uh